Come on then, let's go and plug this in and clear out this manticore infestation. I don't think it'll be that bad, but it's 71 metres away, so it might be a little distance. A manty swarm. Oh, I cut its head off. Nice. Can't use well in combat. I'm not in combat. Who 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 thinks it's in combat? What is that thing up there? Get wrecked. Oh, why, thank you. Now we can use the. We'll use it on the way out. Although it does seem like a long way away. Strong healthy and security mechanicals booted up and killed a bunch of manties. Bad news. Diagnostic says their circuit boards are used for machines. Systems. Oh, fuck me, what's that? Oh, she killed it. Great. Why are there robots up here protecting things? Well, maybe they're to protect against infestation. Oh, we've got a, a maintenance room. It's not even dead. Nothing except my headshot. Headshot. Was that it for up here? I'll just drop down. Oh, so there's not actually that much here. Done. Done. The temperatures are dropping. Stop by once you found your way out of there. Groundbreaker owes you thanks. There we go. Got a bit of air conditioning back online. Now we have got perk points available. Skill and perk points, right. Hmm. I wanted to get this up to 50. I might as well put these up to 50 as well. There we go, done. Perks. So I went with that last time, the pack mule. What was I gonna I was gonna go for the fifty percent tactical time dilation recharge rate, but I'm not entirely sure. 
this Ormarin. I'm wondering if I should get plus 50% experience from companion kills. Because my companions do kill quite a few enemies. 50% experience isn't like, isn't anything to joke about. And it could help in combat. I think I'm going to go for that. Okay. And we only need to spend 5 skill points here before we unlock this next tree. I can probably do without the recharge rate, if I'm honest. I think max recharges is the best one. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. Done. Now these have got a skill to use. Brilliant. Range damage. Armor rating. Melee damage. 10% chance to extract mods in the field. Increase your chance of loot. I'm not really bothered about that to be honest. More base health. Or more range damage. Probably going to go for more damage. If I'm honest. We'll go for that. There's nothing else that I want is there? Nah. I'll go with that. What about Vicar Max? Pretty much the same things apart from a unique one on the end. 20% dialogue combat effect duration. Melee damage, armor rating, range damage. We'll do that. And since we're using a high damage and weapon anyway, that's going to be pretty effective. That board, oh. Because I'm a completionist, I need to unbar that door. <laughs> Oh, look. I'm not allowed to actually jump over that thing. Bout for why? Well, looks like we're not getting that. Now we can go and use this terminal over here. Awkward elevator silence. <laughs> this is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly. My boys are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Brilliant. So what's it like being in command around here? Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Oh, Varty here could always help you shoulder the burden. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducks and panels, we could work something out. So this is a family business? Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gang, kept it together during a crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from Chief Engineer to Captain. They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. 
That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. Condolences. I'm sure there were some big shoes to fill. Appreciate it. There wasn't much that took me by surprise about the job, but the little things you never expect or think about, they add up over time. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennyson's know about. So where's the self-destruct mechanism? I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. <laughs> I gelded that thing years ago. Now it brews a stim that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. You've got my attention. You don't have faith in the board. You're right. I don't. The board is after two things. Bits and power. And they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. So you mustn't like Udon then? I like to think of myself as a nice person. But if that gaudy embassy of his was on fire, I might hold my breath a moment before activating the sprinkler system. <laughs> the board wants control over Groundbreaker. And leeches like Udon Bedford will do anything to please their corporate masters. How do you keep them at a safe distance? I placate them when I have something to offer. But I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. You've got my attention. Done. Well then, I think we've cleared up everything there. I've already used that. Let's go. This is how You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Yeah, why would we run out of time? Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. No. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or, uh, sometime dire soon. Earstar employee here. Why are you going to lose comms? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The events forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. That'll put the whole system in a right dire situation. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Sounds like it's time to get it back online. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. Tell you what. What's in it for me if I investigate your relay problem? You save my comm center from chaos. I guarantee I'll get the chief to authorize some payment forms with your name on them while you're out fixing the station. I'll do it. I should say no, but... Why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? You just let messages from Earth sit in memory on an orbital relay? It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. Right, that's it. I'm done. See you later, pet. I'll get it sorted. I seen Jun Lei fix a turbine with this engine tape. Right, so I can't speak to her. She sure loves this. And that's it. So I think we're probably going to head back to my ship because there's a couple of things we need to do. So that's the main quest. Speak to Gladys on Groundbreaker. I'm not going to do that yet. I want to clear up these first. So, talk to Ellie. Let's go and do that. And I bet you we get her as a companion now. Wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. Except being right. That's nice too. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? You do. Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. 
If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. Are you saying you'll work for me just because I helped Jesse? If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. Welcome aboard. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Yeah, meet me on my ship. I don't know you, but you can go and chill there for a bit. Traveling in style, are we? I'll be sure to nab a cabin with a view. Dr. Fenhill, glad you opted to join us. It'll be good to have a Sawbones on the crew. Nice. Now what's next? Unreliable. Back on the unre unreliable. And this one is in... Where? Emerald Vale. Vicar Max has tracked the scar to a rented domicile on Fallbrook or Monarch, so I can't do that. We'll go back to our ship and that'll be these two companion quests done. We'll probably fast travel there, can't we? Yes, we can. Bish bash bosh. Like, even though the areas aren't necessarily massive and big, they're so dense with things to do. You've acquired the modern steel I, wrench, and you. Oh, I am alert and awake. Not to worry. I take our ship's security highly seriously. You've acquired hoop. All oh, these are all the things I found in my travels. I think they might just be things to decorate your ship with. Now wait there, we need to speak to her about the robot. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Do you know anything about the auto-mechanical gathering dust in the janitor's closet? The unit is a cleaning sand. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Okay then. The terminal in my captain's quarters. I'll be here. Well, let's check it out. Oh, we'll speak to Paul Votti since he's here. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? Certainly. So, June Lay and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. No, no, mate, mate, just, just, They're just... real sweet. Just hold your tongue. I'll tell you what's happening. She wants to scissor you. Done and dusted. Comes from the heart, you see. Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. Yeah. The trouble goes away. Yeah. It sings. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and... I'm the lady? Yeah. It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kind of. Makes your chest hurt and your fanny wet. Sounds like she likes you. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. You're about the warmest person I've ever met. To hell with them. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from June Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm going to change that. Right now. Go on, do it. Do it. Okay. Here we go. 
Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... Who's Isabel? Oh shit, that's not good. <laughs> that went downhill fast, you're looking a little rough. I'll say, is everything okay? They were... close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. Yeah, they were close, but not anymore. I don't know. June Lay talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? Lost Hope? If that's what you want, next time we hit Groundbreaker, our drink's on me. Drinking's definitely not going to solve this problem. Wouldn't it be easier to talk to her about this Isabel person? There you go. Just talk it out. That's all you need to do. Maybe for you. I start thinking about all the things she could say and my guts start crawling up my throat. I'm full serious. Next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there. Alright, then I'll help you. My god. We've just leveled up again from just chatting to people. It's awesome. Now wait there. I need to get to my... Well, we'll do these quests first before I start tinkering with weapons and stuff. Take out of the Lost Hope, we will do that. Search the terminal. Make your... Search term Sam. First Sam result. It should not be too difficult to get up and running with a few key modifications. Removal of factory standard part Suds Steeper was successful. Done. I'm giving up hope on the delivery. The pot was lost in transit. I heard from a fellow who knows a gal who knows the broker who overcharged me for the information regarding the location of an acid steeper. I can hear fil Filch? The pot was sent to an old storage facility in Roseway. I sure never thought I'd go back to that pit. Okay then. Roseway. So where's Roseway? Find cut on Cilia. Wait there. Quest type. Change sorting. That's better. Space. Why is that classed in space when it's clearly a quest in Groundbreaker? Wait, never mind. So we've still got to speak with Lilia. In Sublight, that's the salvage company. Find Captain on Cilia, but that's not Cilia. Yeah, this, this sorting's a bit wank, if I'm honest. Right, acquire the science weapon on Groundbreaker. We need to do that. Travel to Relay JB23. The Groundbreaker's backup communications relay went offline a while ago. Now that station's primary relay is going to be occluded. This backup relay must be repaired. Claim the bounty reward from Sunita. We can do all that once we go back. But first. Transfer. Right. So these do stay here. So drop this off. Drop that off. Shrink rate. It only does 18 damage. Store the hunting rifles. I'll store one of every weapon. Nothing really pristine though. I want to sell all of these. Ah, well does goggles. Engineering plus 15, perception minus 1. 
Bloody hell. That might be useful for... Poverty. Ah, lockpick plus five. So, what does she do? Ellie. Plus ten in medical. Ah, I'm not too bothered, to be honest. Lie, medical, and engineering. I don't think I'm going to use her. Lockpick plus 5. Or engineering plus 15. It's a big boost that though. But it's not as good as lockpick. Since we use that all the time. I'm not going to use any of this armor, but I will keep store that. Tech skills five, stealth skills five. I'm going to keep them too. There we go. Clear that out. Right, let's drop all of these off. Oops, I'm, I'm just putting everything in here by accident. Fuck it. Now what I do want, I want to carry all my modifications around with us. I need to sell them. So, that's on the player. Right bumper in the bin. I want my mods back. Done. Now let's have a play with this. I want to put an iron sight on this gun because I don't really like the scope. Range weapon mod. Ah, you can't. A two times scope. A six times zoom. You can't do it, not on this gun, because it must be classed as a sniper, unlike the other one. What we can do is I want to tinker it, and our tinker costs are going to be massively reduced, so I'll tinker this twice. Repair, all equipped. Same with the armour. Oh, armor. We haven't been in combat, so armor hasn't been hit. Good. Now let's break all this shit down. I'll keep that hunting rifle. All oh, my armor's good. Done, right, let's head out. Well, why don't we just fast travel? Be much better. Right, journal. Claim the bounty. Actually, it's just as fast because it's just outside. Eh, uh, yes, I want them too.
Heard from the lasses down on 22 that you broke. How did it cut? Sup? Whoa, 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 whoa. Smashed up a freighter out in the Charybdis belt. You ever Steve stopped Dorp. to wonder how it got smashed up? Oh, the Steve Dorr quarters. A good way to forfeit my bones. That just means, like, workers. Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. Yeah. You gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Hmm. I knew he was a companion. I could tell as soon as we met him. You're pretty eager to throw in with somebody you barely know. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. Temperament. If you're trying to convince me to hire you, you're going about it all wrong. Nah. I've heard I've heard enough you hired. <laughs> no, wait there. Tell me why I should hire you. You're serious. You're giving me a shot. All right. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I put together a little speech, just in case you asked. <laughs> hey there, I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. Go on. Firstly, I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not <laughs> of the jackass persuasion. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's funny. He's all right. Uh, secondly... I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is a, it's a work in progress. Now go on, continue. Additionally, I have several years of experience as a box hauler. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. In conclusion... Thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. I look forward to our adventures together. I thought that was real good, Felix. Thanks for the vote of confidence. What do you think? Am I in? Yeah, I admit. That was legendary. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not going to regret this. I'll see you at the ship. I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. This is going to be great. You got a crew now, Felix. Mr. Felix. Hey, be careful with those crates, huh? How goes the hunt? I've been ruminating on it, and I decided if you ain't killed McRed yet, I want you to hurt him a little before you do. <laughs> Nothing excessive, mind you, but the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off. He's completely dead. He has his lucky light as proof. Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. Yeah. Corrupt ones. That's another side quest done. So now it's just... We'll drink with Pavi. A Parvati. Parvati for short. Mrs. Parvati. So, how does this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Okay, so, what are we drinking? You're the expert? No idea. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Are you sure you want to do this? You seem nervous. Oh, no, that's just... That's on account of my not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know? I've just been lying awake, thinking about what Jun Lei said, and... I feel my heart shake. If you really want to get drunk, whiskey is efficient. I'd start with a beer, but you said Edgewater... In Edgewater, the smell made you sick, so how about wine? Oh, wow! You remembered. Well, that's fruit and such, right? Listen. Okay, wine it is. Bottoms up. Purpleberry wine's all right if you require a sweetness to your spirits. Seems like a drink that would suit you, Miss Holcomb. Just mind how much you imbibe. Wow, this is really kind of nice, actually. Who'd have guessed old fruit could taste so good? Oh, Captain. I'm pining for June like something fierce. 
What am I doing? <laughs> She's pining. I'm absolutely sopping wet for Jun Lee. The thing is alright if it doesn't work with Jun Lee. I've got a sausage it could have instead. Yeah. Yeah. Generally or specifically, enjoying a drink with your friends. Going on a grand adventure across Halcyon. You're funny. Yeah, I guess we're doing that, aren't we? Crewing together, seeing the stars. It's like something out of a serial. I like the ones with grand romances. And I think... I think I'm flubbing mine. You're not, man. You're overthinking it. I don't know what to do about... us. All you have to do, right, this, this, this goes for any situation with anybody that you think likes you or you like them. You just go up and say, here, I want you to sit on my face. And just be blunt like that, and it always works out well. Always. Every time. Start by telling me why her message got you unsettled. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. What? I mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Exactly. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. Yeah, what was in the message? What did she actually write? It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? Hold on, what's it really about, pet? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now. I no, no, let's, let's get you some water. You just, you know, drink a pet. Come on, Captain. I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right. I'm a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Good call. It's best to proceed with a light hand the first time. Shush you. <laughs> oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but I'm so scared. About what? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we... We get together and she gets bored of me. There's an easy way to get answers to all of those questions. Man up and go and speak to her. Oh, there's nothing easy about about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. What? That's Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not. What are you talking about? you got to have a bit of physical with the mental. It's like yin and yang, mate. You can't control how people react to you. Even people you care about. I'm just laying it on. I'm just laying it on. Keeping it real with her. What do you mean, Captain? The only thing you can control is you. So if I'm... Doing my very best to be kind and open-hearted. I shouldn't worry how she thinks of me. Exactly. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think ungenerous thoughts. So what? We all do. Well, I suppose so, but... I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person. Worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. So you're going to ask her out then? Oh, gosh. I, I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Don't ask for my opinion. Believe in yourself. Exactly. Do it. Okay. I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, <laughs> probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. Well, it's not like I could be elsewhere. 
Nor am I capable of neglecting a wayward lamb in need of guidance. Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. Now it is, I know, I know, I know how she's feeling because Jun Lee is a bit of a hottie like. She's that Asian sensation. So, talk to her back on the ship. We will do that. We'll do that now. And then we'll go and find this science weapon on Groundbreaker. And I think that is everything done on Groundbreaker. Apart from a hey, thing that we haven't actually got as a... Down there. With the lights off, there are people unloading the ship. Apart from that, like, not a quest, but a bit of information. We've got of a secret passageway behind the ship right quarters or something, but I don't know where they are. But it's not a recorded quest, so I don't know... Oh, I've got a fucking clue where it is. Not a fucking clue. Warning. Intruders will be... Oh. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun. And I tried some things I never would have otherwise. Some of the drinks we tried I even liked. I guess it's not all disgusting. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. Did you talk to Jun Lee? I messaged Jun Lei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. <laughs> Were there any funny typos? Oh, she called mashed potatoes smashed potatoes, but I think maybe that's just what they call them on Groundbreaker. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like, I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. So she does like you. And she said it in the most awkward way possible. Oh, isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal and... I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. Twice. But anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. You're welcome. Is that actually done now? 19,000 experience for doing that. It was the easiest quest I've ever done, just chatting and getting loads of XP. Come on then, we're going to fast travel to science. Groundbreaker way. Ah. Floors. There. So there's a science weapon on the second upper floor. Sorry. Yeah, the second top floor. I wonder where it'll be. I think I know where it might be. It might be in the salvage place, which we've never been to yet. Over that way. So that might coincide with... Hold on, did I not have a... Did I not have a quest for... Speaking to someone in the... I forgot what it's called now. The Scrap Merchant. I think this science weapon must be what we... Oh, it's Gladys. Really? 
I'm not allowed to access my menu. Huh. Now I can. You're not allowed to access your menu in there for whatever reason. The logs on Hawthorne's terminal mentioned the rumours of from the groundbreak of a scientist who bragged about a powerful weapon he was researching. Another of Hawthorne's logs mentioned looking in Gladys's shop for old records. Ah, okay, that's why, that's why. Right, so we're going to speak to her. It's going to be in one of these things, isn't it? Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbours tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient. Or an oven. Just like store-bought. Oh, your sugar brings all the boys to the yard. But Phineas sent me. He said he could sell me a nav key to Stella Bay. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Tell me about this opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... No qualms whatsoever. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. Ah. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. I need to go there anyway. So why was it abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. What if it's an automated message? Edna didn't seem to think so, and I trust the dear girl's judgment. Well, maybe not in men, but she knows her comms. So, like as not... Someone's been down there recently. And if someone set up shop in Roseway, I'd wager they got something to hide. If it's a corporate town with something to hide, why the SOS? Maybe whatever they're hiding went to heck, and now they need a few spare hands to clean up the mess. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. My services don't come cheap. Neither do mine, dearie. Old Gladys knows the value of good work. You'll be compensated accordingly, I can promise you that. Sounds good. Should you find yourself responding to a certain distress call, and in so doing find yourself in possession of certain valuable corporate secrets well then we ought to have a chat over a pot of tea and my famous cookies i'll stop by if i find anything law bless your atoms here's a copy of the sos recording complete with the coordinates don't forget to come find old gladys when you're done now what have you got for sale i found a handsome ceramic manta pillar at a salvage auction last Ooh, week fantastic now, actually, before we do that, let's sell all these rubbish things. Now, weapons. Ooh. Salvager's helper. 32 by 6. It's like a shotgun pistol. Bloody hell. Corrosive damage. How much is it? Nearly 5,000 bits. Bloody hell. It's impressive, though. Well, that is impressive. I need to be in there. Right. 
Right, that's a... What I'm wondering is, why is this still pointing 8 metres in front of me? Maybe I can ask her about it. It's almost time for today's episode of the Chairman's Children. Care to listen? Or what talk about want, something else. My hard-earned wisdom. Hmm. What do you do here? Oh. What? You do have a favorable mop, I must say. But that's not what you wanted to talk about, is it, dear? That's right. How do you mean? The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. I know who Jun Lee is, but I'll ask her anyway. Chief Jun Lee Tennyson. Used to be she was chief engineer before her mama passed, and she took the helm. She's neck deep in the ship guts by day, slap fighting with the board by night. She seemed capable of handling the board well enough. Hold on. You already met her. What are you asking me about her for? I want to know what you thought of her. Bit straight-laced for my tastes, but that's just her nature. She's fierce, too. A fighter. And between you and me, I think the fight's starting to wear on her. Right, I don't think we I think we've got to get in there. But these people aren't going to be best pleased about that. Right, I think we're going to have to leave that for now. What can we do? Can't do that. Or maybe they're in... Upstairs. Aha, look. Rest and go key card. Right, I'm going to pick that. Who are you? Freighter crew? Pack 25, access guest messages. I'm going in here and it's a good time to do it now come on get in everyone in 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 chop chop or just piss about if you want how am I about to steal stuff and he's are getting taking a piss So this wasn't where I wanted to be. I was hoping it was part of her shop, but it's not. Hmm. Wait there. Are they going to be angry at me if I do this? Yes, they are. Okay then. We're definitely going to have to come back later. Skill points anyways. Oh, no, that would do it here, man. I think if we can get in here. Rest and go key card. Where the hell are we going to get a rest and go key card? Glad to see a friendly face. What'll it be? didn't quite catch that uh you'll have nothing to fear huh what huh fine as long chief tennyson holds the ship together our she freely our there's a reason the hmm right 
one thing I do want to do, like it's coming towards the end of the episode now, I'm not going to really get much done, but I just want to flick through this and see what skills I can get. I've got no interest in one or two handed. Long guns. 60 adept. Long gun, headshot, weak, weak shot damage plus 20%, that's alright. Deadly focus, no weapon sway for 5 seconds after each kill, not bothered. Long gun critical hits ignore 100% of armor, that's pretty nice at 100, but bloody hell, that's a lot of investment. Coward's target armor minus 50%. When a human cowards, you gain 20% armor for 10 seconds. I think the combat abilities of these aren't that good. You're just going to use these for speech, really. Auto mechanicals attack at their normal speed. And terrify creatures, okay. Pickpockets. Steal from humans while sneaking. Really? At 40? Ah, okay. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll leave that on 40. Because I like the idea of pickpocketing. Hostile effect duration plus 50%. 20% end rate damage. 20% chance of items you repair will become pristine. Oh wow. That's impressive. 20% chance items you repair will become pristine. So what you could do is you could just fire a bullet, waste some durability, then repair it until it becomes pristine. And then I imagine it'll... Stay pristine forever. That's at 60. 42. Mark that as my lowest skill, inspiration. Companion abilities. You can order companions to do special attacks. Companions gain 20% armor rating. Companion skill bonus to player skills plus 100%. Hmm. Oh. Okay. But then again, pristine only increases, sorry, only affects durability. Am I even really bothered about that? I think I'll get these to 50. And that's perfect. That's a perfect level up. Done. I might invest into... So we're in the 60s on these. 75 on hack. And 72 on lockpick, that's pretty amazing. Even my science and engineering's good. So wait there, I'm getting 13 from Parvati. 11 from Vicar Max, so what's that? That's 13, 24. 24. 36. Forty-six. Fifty-seven. Sixty-seven. So at the moment I'm getting sixty-seven points from my companions. Sixty-seven. So if I... If I get this to sixty, it's going to cost me... Fifty-four. It'll cost me fifty-four points to get this to... To 60 and I'll gain an extra 67 points so you'll gain a little bit but that means a lot of wasted skills in this what does determination get because I'll also get this up with inspiration inhaler uh, heals you and your companions but they get 30% of the healing effect companion critical damage plus 20% Get an additional 25. I mean, that's a possibility. I, I like the sound of that, but it's a big investment. That's like another five level ups. Well, six level ups, really, if I want to put that up. To get to a depth. Alright, I'll have to think about that. But we're done for now. 
So next episode, where are we going? Can't do that. Don't know how to do it without getting seen. View the distressed signal recording on your ship. Roseway. So that's on Roseway and I also need to go... I might do the silent voices. Really? GB23, that does sound interesting. And we'll get that back on for... For the Asian sensation, I've actually already forgot a name. But then again, we can get a companion if we go to Roseway. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do Relay GB23 next episode. And then after that, we'll... Because this sounds like a little... A small area like this. Like a, like a small moon or something. Right now, before we leave the episode I'm wondering how do I pickpocket takes five seconds but he already knows I'm there I can't get him what about this guy I bet you he's got a key card Rest and go key card. Oh my god, this is phenomenal. <laughs> I've got a key I've got a key card. Well I did not expect that. Oh pickpocketing this game's awesome. Dead easy. Troop armor gold. Elite troop armor. Give it to me. I've got a rest and go key card. Oh, it must be used up. Really? Every time you use a key card, it goes, it disappears. Okay then. So we could probably see what we want and then open up the right chest. 22 armor, dodge plus seven. 29 armor. Dodge plus 5, Stealth Skills minus 5. I wonder if there's there's heavy armor that doesn't actually reduce your skills. There was a guy in here, wasn't there? Where's the guy? No. He doesn't have it. Talk to your local manager. Right, wait there. Let me just test this out. I'm going to pick that off him. I want to open up a different chest and see if there's anything else that's more useful for me in there. Shh. I'm going to pick your ass. Heavy guarded face mask. A regular tactical shotgun. That's not very good at all. I hope it's not random. If it's random, that's that's a bit bad. But there's got to be three key cards lying about somewhere. Otherwise, I don't think there'd be three chests. Unless it does want you to make a choice. Shock cannon, rebuilt mining gear. It was pretty much shit in that one. Right now, this is the, this is the, the moment we find out if it is randomised or not, because we're going to open up the first one we we did open. Shit. Shit. Do you get XP for this? You don't, do you? Nope. Yeah, it's set. It's set pieces in these. This is the the first chest we opened was the best one we could have done. Nightingale step. 
Gyro site. Give me everything. Right then, we'll have to find these key cards elsewhere. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll teleport back to the... Oh, but then again, I'm... I wish I could pickpocket her. Can I pickpocket her? Get get in get in get in bed. Shit. This is gonna be impossible. Oh, what's this? Oh, the bit cartridge. I thought they were the bits of information I needed. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. We can't do this yet. Well then. Let's travel back to the ship. Oh, wait there. Sorry, sorry. I've just... I've got so many things going on in my head that I want to pickpocket now. What about shopkeepers? What happens if we pickpocket vendors? Oh my days. <laughs> We're just stealing from everybody. What about you? What have you got? Nothing. You're useless. I thought there was another shop. Oh, there is here, look. But this is going to be tricky. Come on, baby. Come. He nearly caught us, but I'll, I'll let go just in time. Yeah. Oh, shit, I stopped because I thought she was turning around. I'm an absolute tea leaf. Who else might have valuable things? I've done that shop, done them. Do you know who might have some good stuff? The... The mercenary? The person in here, watch this. We nearly got sussed there. Come on baby, come on baby, come on baby. Nothing too exciting. I thought we'd get a lot better things sure. but... A shame. Right then, we don't actually get much. Can I get in this door here? <laughs> oh my god, I'm going on a, a pickpocket and spree. I love it. Although I don't know if you can pickpocket like anything Have like really worthwhile. Ever put into but it's good to know we can we can start stealing from all shopkeepers. Get in. We'll go back to the ship and then we're ready to take off next episode. After I break down some stuff at the workbench. Yeah, what I, what I think I'll do is like any in the future, any. Good. Leveling up, Not or that I miss you. 
modifications or repairing we'll save it for the end of the episode where like if you just don't want to watch it you can just skip it Ooh, the officer's spine where the hell did i get that automatic pistol that's regular so we're gonna break it down oh we can't break them weapons down That's strange. So we can't break that down even if we wanted to. Oh, it's because... Oh, it's because it's in somebody's inventory, man. That Look, because we've got more people in our party. That's part of someone's inventory. Fair enough. Such emotional right, we're good to go. Make a hard save. And when we get back, we're going to go to... GB23 and turn this relay station on. See you there lads.